One, two, three, summer drink ideas. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. I'm gonna share three really refreshing summer drink ideas. Perfect for the next time you have friends visiting the cottage or wherever you may be entertaining. If it's your first time here, welcome. We're happy you found us. Since you have, why not head to weekendatthecottage.com and subscribe to our website. After that, look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel, and when you're there, subscribe to it as well. And then finally, why not share pictures of all the refreshing cocktails you make? Use hashtag weekendatthecottage when you post them on your favorite socials, like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Three stellar drink ideas, uh, and all of them are different. One has alcohol, the second can go either way, and the third is for all of the young people out there. This last cocktail is especially for kids. Let's begin with number one. I'm gonna show you how to make an Aperol Citrus Spritz. Our first summer drink is really great when you're entertaining a crowd. We're making it in a large beverage dispenser. We start by adding a ton of ice. Fill your beverage container about a third with ice, and then we're gonna add a citrus component. I have grapefruit and lemon slices. I've quartered them and I add a few of each into our container. Next comes the main ingredient, Aperol, which is a bittersweet aperitif. The citrus flavor comes from pink grapefruit juice, four cups. Finally, the spritz part of this cocktail is your favorite Prosecco. We add a full bottle of Prosecco, a suggestion, the Prosecco, the Aperol, and the grapefruit juice. Make sure they're really cold before you begin. We add the Prosecco, we give the ingredients a stir. You can add a little bit more ice if you wish. When you go to serve, we're taking wine glasses, adding a few cubes of ice. The garnish for this drink, quartered slices of pink grapefruit and lemon. Perfect citrus compliment. It goes into a glass with an environmentally friendly straw and you're ready to enjoy. I love this recipe because you can put it out on the counter for your guests to enjoy responsibly. Ready for recipe number two? Let's do a blueberry sparkle. second recipe is a bit of a chameleon. You can do it one of two ways. To begin, we're taking a very beautiful glass and I'm adding just a little bit of ice because the second ingredient is cold enough. We're using a handful of frozen blueberries. This will keep this cocktail nice and cool. Next, we add one ounce of our blueberry syrup. Links to how to make it in the story at weekendatthecottage.com. Add one ounce of fresh lime juice. Optional, if you wanna make this cocktail with a little bit of spirits, we're gonna add one ounce of vodka. Top the entire drink off with chilled soda water. We're gonna give the glass a stir. Our garnish for this drink, a glass muddler, so guests can stir. I'm adding a slice of lime and then a run of fresh blueberries on a cocktail pick. This drink is so refreshing, whether you have it with the vodka or not. Okay, kids, listen up. Time to talk about the tropical freeze. Our last drink may be my favorite because it is so perfect on a hot summer's day. We're taking the canister to a blender and I'm adding one liter of mango sorbet. You can swap out the mango sorbet for another tropical flavor if you want, but I think the mango is so perfect in this recipe. Next, I have fresh pineapple, four cups go in the canister. Last ingredient, four cups of chilled coconut water. We want this to stay frosty. I add the lid on the blender. We're gonna zip for a few moments. We're pouring our frosty tropical freeze into tall glasses. Our garnish for this drink is pieces of fresh pineapple. And then these cool little cocktail umbrellas. Kids love this kind of stuff. Three really refreshing drink ideas to enhance your next summer get together. As always, reminder, if you are enjoying, enjoy responsibly and never drink and drive. 
Beyond that, just a standing invitation to come on back and hang out again with Weekend at the Cottage. From all of us to all of you, cheers. <laughs>